And here we are at the Super Hot Rod Monarch AA. And what we're going to do is we're on the trail of that elusive precision. We're chasing precision. So these tools here are, you know those tools. Well, these will get you to a point that we need to be at. I'll take them away, so I'm over here. So when we get to the point on boards, uh, this is what we go for, a dial board gauge. Reads in tenths. If you're good, you can read it in half tenths. Okay, this is adjustable. And, you know, they come in series. And I'll set that somewhere else here. Okay. Now the next one is um, a dial indicating snap gauge. And um, this is what we use for outside diameters. We approach what we want to do with a regular micrometer. Then we set this with gauge blocks. I have one here with a gauge block in it. How about that? Yeah, here's one with the gauge block in it. You set it to zero. So we'll set our target diameter um, on, on an OD with a dial indicating snap block, snap gauge, using gauge blocks to set it. We'll put that back over here. Okay. <clears throat> now the way these work, um, it's this uh, lower adjustable anvil. You adjust that. Then there's this uh, traveling anvil, and they're carbide faced. And uh, that actuates the, the dial indicator. So let's put it on and watch that indicator. Get it on there straight. I like to roll it a little bit forward. There's just a little woggle in this uh, in this piece. You can see it. But that's what we'll use. And we'll turn a piece. This is just a test bar here. About a tenth or a half a tenth or something. Now your chuck, I was talking about uh, the chuck, uh, this is a performance chuck. It's been balanced. Got some balance holes in the back. The jaws have been ground. It's a four jaw chuck. The jaws have been ground. And I'll show you what this will do. You see that dial indicator? It's almost eight inches out there. Maybe you can see that. Okay, this bar runs a half thousandths true that far out. And if your chuck doesn't do that, you need to make it do that. Because uh, we're running at really high RPMs. And uh, this is a performance situation where you want this thing to really perform. And if your chuck's not up to it, you're not up to it, okay? So the equipment has to be just right. I even went so far um, as to uh, do a video on adjusting the belts at running at high speed. So this thing is getting tuned up. And that's what you got to do. You got to tune it up. You got to do your part, or the machine can't do its part. If you have a chuck that's wobbling the work, it's, it's just not going to do good work. You know, and we're talking uh, plus or minus 80 millionths on a diameter. It's possible. You know, and you don't have to have all of this stuff. You can take bits and pieces of what I'm showing 
and, and get your old worn out e -e -e to uh, do some uh, magical stuff. And I'm going to do both machines. I'm going to demonstrate what the old one will do and then what this will take over and do. Okay? And why this thing uh, costs so much money. So, you know, you get a tangle of gauges going, you know. And uh, it's only money. I mean, you went so far as to get the machine. I mean, you just need a few trinkets to go with it. <laughs> and uh, come up with some good work holders, like this chalk, you know. When I put this piece in, I trued it up here. It sagged a little bit, but I was able to push it true with my thumb. So, you know, keep that in mind. Your chuck should run something, run true here, and you should be able to push it with your thumb so it runs true out here. And then you're in. You're in the game. <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd point out a few things. And uh, we'll, we're going to have some fun with this. All right, I'll get back. <laughs>